Hello, uh, brothers and sisters. This is uh, Christina speaking. Today is July 26, 2021, and I hope everybody is doing well. And so I have a message from God the Father this time to share with you. But before I go ahead, I want to confess with my mouth that I truly believe that our Lord Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. He is God who has come in the flesh on the earth and died on the cross for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. I am Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. Amen, amen. And so, brothers and sisters, before I share this message, I want to remind you that this message from God is not to call you to stop doing what you are doing for God. Please keep doing what God has called you to do until the last second. Amen? And so uh, for those who uh, come here uh, hoping to hear what they want to hear, well, brothers and sisters, I am not here to uh, tell you what you want to hear. Understand that I am here to, uh, to give you what God wants you to know. And so, uh, yeah, so that's it. And so, uh, on July 18, 2021, just a few uh, few days ago, during my prayer time, I received a message from God the Father. And why it's God the Father this time? Because uh, the message is about His timing. And God the Father is the only one who knows about the day and the hour of our Lord's return. And so, uh, during my prayer time, I hear the small voice saying this, Behold, my timing has come. At that time, I stopped. And I asked the Father if I was healing correctly from Him. I said, Father, did I hear you correctly? And He said, Yes. And so, because, as you know, we must always test spirits to see if they are from God. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. At that time, I asked God to give me a scripture to confirm if I heard from, from Him. At that time, He gave me Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. And uh, every time he gives me uh, this scripture, it confirms that I'm hearing from God. And so um, I wanted to have more than one confirmation. Uh, and so I asked if he was going to give me a dream to confirm his word. And he said, yes, on July 19, I had a dream. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to share with you exactly uh, what God wants me to share with you. I will not go into uh, details because uh, uh, this dream was wrong with uh, uh, lots of details. And so... He only wants me to uh, share with you what you need to know. In this dream, uh, it seemed uh, it was uh, uh, a wedding scene because lots of things were happening. And uh, at the end of uh, the dream, I was taken in another place. In this place, there were, uh, were uh, three men, and these three men come to me. Uh, 
one of them had a, a big cross in his hands and I saw our Lord on the cross. This man gave me uh, the cross. At the same time he said, Behold, my timing has come. Behold, my timing has come. And also he said, The bride is now about to be revealed to the whole world. The dream ended. I also want to uh, say that these three men were dressed like a priest, brothers and sisters. And so uh, I went into prayer again, seeking God's discernment and another confirmation about this dream. And uh, at that time, God gave me uh, Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, to confirm that uh, the dream was uh, from Him. And also, uh, He gave me scriptures to uh, help us to understand uh, this message. He gave me uh, Leviticus chapter 12. Luke chapter 2 verse 9 to 38 and uh, Ruth chapter 4 verse 9 to 22. He also uh, gave me Matthew 26 verse uh, 39 to uh, 45. Brothers and sisters, but pay attention to verse 41 and 45. When I read uh, Leviticus 12 and uh, uh, Luke chapter 2 verse uh, 9 to 38, I could see a similarity between these two scriptures, but I couldn't quite understand the message. But when I read Ruth chapter 4 verse uh, 9 to uh, 22, uh, I understand much better the message because in this chapter uh, they're talking about the wedding. Uh, Boaz is making a public declaration of his marriage to uh, Ruth. And also is talking about the uh, generation from uh, uh, Boaz to David and Jesus Christ. And so, brothers and sisters, please read these scriptures because I believe all your uh, questions and answers are in these scriptures. In Matthew 26, uh, verse uh, 39 to 45, uh, 39 to 45, sorry, uh, verse 41 says, Watch and pray, so what? So that you don't fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Uh, verse 45 says, Look, the hour has come. And so, I invite all of you to read these scriptures and uh, bring everything to the Holy Spirit. Pray and seek uh, your understanding if you have questions because God really wants each of us to seek his holy face, to take everything to him for the understanding. And that was his message. And so, um, brothers and sisters, I cannot uh, 
give you the exact day and the hour that things are going to happen. We're talking about the rapture and tribulation because I'm not God and only God the Father knows that day and the hour. But I can tell you that we are in the season. You can believe it or not, but only a short time left. And so uh, what God means by saying, Behold, my timing has come. I don't know if things are going to happen this year, next year, in two years. I cannot tell you that. All I can tell you is watch, pray, and get ready every day. Keep your house in order. Stop sinning because sinners will not enter the kingdom of God. If you are sinning against God, you must abandon your ways, your doings, and turn to God before it's too late. And so, um, regarding God's timing, all we can do is to wait on His timing because in Psalm 90, thousands, thousand days are like one day. And so you understand this is God's language. Uh, if you are sick, God, with all your heart, uh, God will give you the understanding of this message. But understand that His timing has come. We do not have much time left. Please share this video with our brothers and sisters. Watch and pray and stay ready every day. God bless you.